On the Radio is brought to you by Zurich Insurance, the perfect place to catch up with all things Melbourne. If you enjoy this content and want more inside access from the team, make sure you visit the club website. On Saturday afternoon, Whitey, at the Adelaide Oval, the AFLW Grand Final will be taking place. Adelaide Crows are getting ready for their fourth Grand Final in six years. And the Melbourne Football Club will be getting there for the first time. And one of the stars of the show is Karen Paxman, who joins us on the line. Good morning, Paxi. Hey, guys. How you doing? We are well. How are you doing? You're a couple of days away from something you've been chasing for six years in the red and the blue. It's, um, I have flashes of remembering that we're in a grand final and my heart drops. And I'm, yeah, <laughs> we're, all, we're all super excited. So, um, yeah, we're, we're ready to roll. We've got our last um, training session tonight and um, we head off uh, tomorrow around midday. Is it is it different um, the build up to a grand final? I and mean, you've been in great success through the old days in the VWFL, but this is a different competition. Your first crack at a grand final. Do you feel a bit different? Yeah, I think so. Like you can't ignore the fact that we're coming into a grand final. But yeah, I think I guess the last few weeks um, or last few games, we've kind of had the same build up or mentality of you know right we've we've you know done our job this weekend and now we're on to the next job kind of thing. So yep. we're yeah we're acknowledging that it's it's different and it's special, but also that we just have to repeat what we've been doing, I guess. You've grown enormously this year. A few additions to the roster's helped, but last year you got yourself to a prelim and there were some really good signs. Um, when did you know that this was the team that could get you to a grand final? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if there was a, a certain point. Like, we had the belief last year, um, certainly, but, you know, when I guess on reflection you look back at last year and, I think we came off four or five pretty hard wins towards the back end there to get into that prelim. And, yeah. and then we went over to, to Adelaide and, um, you know, obviously lost that um, lost that game over there. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, I guess over the course of the year, you know, we've had girls, you know, um, you know, grow up a little bit more, mature a little bit more, get stronger and all those things. So and with a little bit more experience that you can make. So I think we're just in a little bit of a different position this year with the crew we've got. It's basically, you know, the same crew add, add a couple. Um, but, yeah, so I think it's just that experience and that, and that year that's gone by. Karen, t- take us in, into the rooms when it comes to Mick Stanier, your coach. Uh, he was named as the Coach of the Year yesterday and there was a great clip on social media of, of Daisy talking about the significance of, of Mick. Um, tell us from your perspective what he means to, to you and, and, to the, and to the players. Oh, yeah. Look, Mick is just um, he's a special person, I think. You know, Daisy summed it up in, in her, what she said. Um, pretty well, but I, I think with Mick, he you know he makes everyone feel special, and it's a, and, and it is genuine. He he does genuinely care about um, everyone, and that's you know the players and and the staff and everyone in, in the program. I think he understands that um, you know if you if I guess if you treat people well, they want to stay, and that's kind of what I guess has happened over the course of the years at Melbourne. Um, it's a place where everyone's you know the culture is everyone's treated quite well. So you don't want to... No one really wants to leave. Um, so I, I think Mick emulates that. Um, and, yeah, I, I, and I guess aside from that is just super caring, super understanding, and given, you know, I guess given the landscape of the women's game, we are part-time athletes, and, and he's the first to understand that. So if, if you, you know, for some reason can't make a... Uh, you know, you, you're running late, or um, you, you've got some other commitments on that clash. He's the first to understand. So, um, yeah, he just breathes that sort of environment. Um, so we're super pumped that it's his 50 games on the weekend. I, I reckon it's pretty fitting. And then from the player, uh, sorry, from the coach to the player with Daisy. And I know everyone wants to to talk about Daisy, and she's <laughs> she's the, the the poster woman for for the AFLW in a lot of ways. But considering what she's gone through and, and to get to this point, how much do you focus on Daisy and doing it for Daisy and how much of it is, well, it's also for everybody else? Yeah, of course. Oh, mate, you know, Daisy puts in so much. Just like, I guess, you know, we can all talk about all the work we put in and, and obviously Daisy um, matches that in spades. But, but certainly the work she does for the team behind the scenes as well is just tenfold. So... Um, we don't we don't mind at all when there's a bit of focus on Daisy because you know she deserves all the little bit of attention she gets. She's um, you know a super hard worker on and off the field, and we look to her. You know everyone looks to her to um, lead the way she does, and she just does it so effortlessly. And 
um, yeah, certainly, you know, it, it is for the team, but also definitely, um, yeah, for days as well, for sure. And how have you found this year, Paxi, going from inside to outside, playing much more on a wing these days? <laughs> Eliza McNamara on the other one, riding shotgun with you. It's been a, <laughs> it's, it's been a great little combo, I reckon. You've uh, you've really found a new a new level. Yeah, I don't mind it at all out there. I actually started football, um, and yeah, I, I've done a I've done a full circle. So um, I, I think I switched out there in the Brisbane game mid year and didn't do too badly. So I, I kind of just stayed out there and. It, it's been really good. I've, it's a good balance between, you know, um, a bit of outside and you kind of can sneak around uh, the contest here and there as well. So um, plenty of plenty of space out there and, and that's, <laughs> I, I enjoy a bit of a run. So, it's um, yeah, it's, it's good. I reckon it's worked pretty well for you. And it's going to be important <laughs> on the weekend too because the Adelaide Oval is a long ground. What do you have to do to beat the Crows who are, as I mentioned before, coming up for four grand finals in six years? They're pretty good at this business. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's... And I don't think it's going to be too complicated. It's um, we know we know they're a tough side, and um, they definitely taught us some lessons last time we played them. So I think the first thing, and especially with final footy, it's going to be a contest. It's going to be a highly contested game, and that's where we need to bring it first and foremost. And um, yeah, that's what we're we're ready to do, and we're excited for. Is there a little X factor? Have you got someone that might pop up and just be a little <laughs> a bit of a game breaker for us? Oh, gee, I, I just think with our team, you know, it, which is exciting, you know, if. if you don't know who's going to pop up and do something pretty cool. So, you know, last week it was um, Bano, and if it's not Bano, it might be Taylor, and if it's not Taylor, it could be Kate, and that's just our forward line. So I think we, we've got these players that can pop up, you know, at, at different times um, all over the ground. So it's, um, yeah, it's a pretty exciting thing to think about. Like, we don't have to rely on one or two players, which is a nice thing. And I think in the past, probably we, we may have had two, um, but we've got a really even spread um, this year, so it's um, yeah, it's really really exciting to to think about what the footy looks like this weekend and also um, into the future. It's going to be a great day, twelve thirty p.m. Saturday afternoon, Adelaide and Melbourne in the AFLW Grand Final for twenty twenty two. Check your local guides and get access to it. Before I let you go, if you had won the medal on Tuesday night, would Mick Stanier have done a shoey? <laughs> oh, gee, I don't know, but maybe we'll uh, yeah, we'll set it up for next. Um, Brownlow night. We'll uh, get. We'll, pr- we'll plant the seed soon. <laughs> I reckon we'd have to plant it pretty early for Mick to do a shoey. Well, I reckon if you, if you win the premiership on Saturday, you could ask him. He'd probably do anything. So good luck to you and uh, and the girls on the weekend. It's going to be great fun to watch the game. Big game, obviously the grand final. Adelaide and Melbourne. Go get them.